As always, I am your host, Stephanie Whitley. In today's segment, we have these two remarkably old but remarkably funny comedians. <laughs> and they're here joining us today on this very special segment, talking about comedy throughout the decades. Wow. Welcome, Jerry McBride and George McNeil. Well, Yay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm George McNeil. Yay. <laughs> and I'm Jerry McBride. <laughs> yeah. Yay, yes, introduce yourselves. Sure, again. I am George McNeil. I would say I'm your parents' favorite stand-up comic, if they have any taste at all. And uh, this right Daddy. here is my main man, my best friend, co-writer, Jerry McBride. Best friends. We've been at it for 30 years, more or less. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Daddy. Oh my goodness, they are just like a cute little uh, old married couple. <laughs> uh, we will be looking at this segment right now. And as we begin, oh yeah, oh, the content might be a little bit triggering for some of our audience members. And if you feel that you might be a little bit uncomfortable, please take this moment to mute They're as you're watching the right? show. You know how the youths get these days. Anything can send them into a blind rage. <laughs> so ridiculous. Then I wouldn't shine up that stuff. No, the show before seven. Yeah, even my short guy did get more laughs than this. Hey, uh, look, George, I meant to tell you. And we're back. Oh my goodness, that was just so, the aesthetics, wow. I mean, how did you guys do that? Was it premiere or, or After Effects? It's just film. So retro, guys. <laughs> oh, well, this was all very hysterical, but we do have some issues that we have to address. I am a massive advocate against hateful speech in the entertainment business. And our guests today are here to initiate the process of acceptance. Now I know you have prepared something for us today. What? Uh, yes, we have. Um, <clears throat> uh, over the decades, we've told thousands of jokes many of which we're really proud of, but many of which we aren't. We, uh, we singled out minority groups. We, we punched down on less fortunate people, and... Hey, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, Jerry. Are they putting you up to this? We would never make our guests do anything that they wouldn't want to do. I'm not doing this. Embarrassing us, George. <laughs> <laughs> That's rich, Jerry. Is this a prank? A prank? Yeah. I mean, this whole apology bullshit. Is, is, are you pranking me? Is this even a real show? Okay. Cut. Jerry? What the fuck is going on? I'm so sorry. I thought he'd be cool no, with it. No, no. Don't throw me under the bus, you fat fuck. Okay, You're everyone. You're the one who wrote most of the jokes anyway. Everyone, let's all take five. I really don't have time for this. Fuck this place. You're a real piece of shit, you know that, Jerry? What the fuck, man? I'm doing this for us. For us? You're trying to get us canceled. You're saying shit that's gonna get me murdered by a horde of high school virgins. Yeah? Isn't that better? than being forgotten? Oh, God. Come on, George. George, you're overreacting, George. Just listen. I have been listening this whole time. This wasn't my idea. Oh, clearly. Does she have a kink for 60 year old guys with paunch and receding hairline and a weed problem or what? God damn it. Oh, come on, George. You know this is just show business. We're getting older. What the hell am I saying we are old? I just don't see the logic of this, Jerry. Is it because you feel the need to morally compensate for all the shitty fucking shit you've done your whole life? Because he forgot to vote for Obama in 2012, 
This ain't gonna make because up Because I really need money, George. I have money, Jerry. Yeah, you took it all. What? It's true. All those contracts you had me sign? All those fucking contracts? You think this is bad? Those fucked me, George. Those really did. And you're upset about all this apology shit? Guess what? This might be the best thing, the best thing that's happened to your career in ages. And you want to know what else? You haven't paid me my fair share of royalties in the past 10 years. You know, well, if you had asked, I would have no, said... No, you wouldn't have. You think just because you got me that stupid Emmy nomination, it makes up for your being a greedy, irresponsible asshole for 20 years. Irresponsible? Yes, irresponsible. Have you forgotten about Denver? Oh, no. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Oh. You motherfucker. You, you don't have bring that forgotten up. Forgotten no, about shut up. You shut forgot shut about Denver. Denver. You know you don't bring up Denver. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead with the apology. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck you. Oh, God, George. How much are you even making for this, Jerry? None of your business. Well, come on, it better be good money if you're screwing me over. $2,000. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't even hire two strippers with that. Fuck. Who came up with that rate? <sighs> well, please tell me you're fucking her at least, huh? No. You're the only one who's getting fucked, idiot. Well, I'm putting a stop to this right now. Hey, you two. We're back on in 90 seconds. Yeah, well, we've been talking, and uh -huh. we're not going through with the apology. And quite frankly, even my second wife was not this much of a manipulative snake. Mm. Yeah, I really don't have time for this. <laughs> Jerry says you're paying $2,000. Mm -hmm. That's a going rate for an apology exclusive. They're just using you. Huh? $2,000? To publicly humiliate your best friend. Okay. You didn't tell him about the shout out? Shout out? Huh? What kind of bullshit is that? It's currency of the digital age, old man. Yeah. So, do you want to keep on playing this game or do you want to make some actual money for once? <clears throat> George, George, listen, George. You are a smart guy. Hmm? A smart guy with a lot of success. If you decide to walk off the set, it's over. Showbiz suicide. Which is actually worse than the real thing. So, sit down and go with it. Trust me, you won't regret it. Please, please. I hate you, Jerry. We're back in four, three, two. As you all know, I am a massive advocate of hate-free entertainment, and that's why today we have our two guests here initiating the process of acceptance. <laughs> all right, Jerry, didn't you have something that you prepared for today? Yes, uh, I have. Um, I, Jerry McBride, on behalf of McNeil Productions, would like to apologize to all of those who found our past content 
to be uh, insensitive or offensive. Look, it was a different time. You could smoke indoors, leave a baby in a hot car. <laughs> Nobody knew better, but um, now we do. And for that, we're deeply sorry. We truly are. Right, George? Yep, uh, we, we are profoundly sorry. And uh, we promise to do better. We promise to be better. Oh, that was so heartfelt, guys. Oh, oh. Okay, up next, our audience's favorite segment. Guess the TikToker's age. Woo! <laughs> you guys can bow out on this one if you like. <laughs> be back in 60. So listen, this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna set I'm gonna set you up with my publicist and she's gonna handle press, damage control, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. And then we'll help you run your comeback tour in return. You come back to my show and do a five minute special of original content. That sounds fantastic, huh? Yeah. All you have to do is write a few jokes about canceling. Just address that. And then you're back on the edgy humor. Not offensive, edgy. Okay, that's your best move. Ooh, see, you're your socials, your engagement is going crazy. It's totally in the bag, you guys. Uh, so, this this cancel thing, what, what do you give that? Two months? Mm, probably. Anyways, I have places to be, so, um, you know, yeah, keep in touch. So... So... Well, that was fucking stressful. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a beer.